he's a wounded former Marine. Um, and he's in a wheelchair, he's got no legs, he's disabled. But I think the disability is the fact that people tell him what he can't do. And that's the real disability. That earth is in on him. And he gets given the opportunity to go to Pandora and discover himself and find out that, you know, you keep pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing and whatever is thrown at you, whatever is thrown at you in life, you can, you can take it on and succeed. And by going in full tilt with your heart, you can actually kind of make the world a better place. An avatar is a remotely controlled body um, where you're placed into a link and my thoughts and feelings and personality and soul goes, is channeled into a synthetically grown uh, uh, body, Navi, alien, um, which is the DNA of the alien, DNA of me mixed together. This is uh, a place where everything is connected, a place where um, it's more beautiful than, than your eyes can handle. Um, a place where the people are more gentle and more simple, but yet, which means they're more advanced than we as a human being can actually understand at this point in time. A place where, I don't know, you can learn to be as at ease with the environment and with yourself than you've ever, ever felt. I think we're living in a day and age now where we realise what we're doing to this planet and you know, it's, it's right in the forefront of a lot of people's minds. This movie's basically saying, let's just stop for a minute and take a damn look at what we're doing to this world. And you know, it seems quite simple, but by doing something you can make a change, it just comes down to your choices in life. Um, it seems like the Navi have discovered that, how to live with one with their planet and live with one with all their insecurities. And, I, you know, that to me is the message of the movie. You know, it's, it's never too late to change. It's never too late to make a better choice. Jim's not limited by his imagination. He, he, he allows it. The older we get, the more we kind of think we know shit and the world gets smaller and smaller to a point where you've he, he broke that and gone, I'm going to go with whatever this big, big brain of mine can handle. And he employs the best people possible to create what is ever in his brain. And he knows what he wants, and that's good. You want to direct it like that. And he knows the detail of it, so I, it makes my job easier to play in. He's created a whole world. Why wouldn't you want to play in it? You know, why would you want to sit in a chair back there yelling at people? You know, if, you've, if you've got guys building a banshee, why don't you know? I'm glad that he wants to ride it. You know, fires me up. You know, so I think that's half the, I think that's why he does it. I think he dives in because he created the world. You know, we're we're only being given a, a, a pass to actually come in and visit. You know, this is his place. You know, what's it? What do I call it? I call it Planet Jim. It ain't Planet Pandora. The thing about it is you think that being a CG character and you do your performance, it may not come across and it might be manipulated by the computer guys. So the performance that you're giving isn't really your performance. That's what I did think, that I was just a puppet. But from what I'm seeing, the most exciting thing is, it is my performance. This thing walks and talks and acts like me, or how I did in the volume. And it's my interpretation. Even though I'm big nine foot tall and blue, it's got my personality, it's got my soul. So that's quite, you know, spectacular that a computer-generated image can do that. And that really surprised me. I trust him more and more and more. And that gives me the freedom as an actor to try things that, you know, might seem a bit out of left field or, you know, he makes me braver. And for any director to make his actor feel brave and safe and you know, and have that amount of trust, that's a, it's a gift.
once you see the 3D, it blows you away. That's it. You're lost in the world. There's no screen anymore, and you're looking around stuff, and you're in, you're in, you're on Pandora. You're in Hell's Gate. That's, that's <laughs> proof's in the pudding. Just watch it. Put your glasses on and see it.